What's up guys, Classy Metal here. I usually don't like doing videos uh, like back-to-back -back days if I can help it. I wasn't expecting to do this video today. Uh, I worked an early shift this morning. I went in to work at uh, 4 a.m. Came home and I was taking a nap and somebody was knocking on the door. Woke me up. I woke the dogs up. Woke me up. I was kind of irritated. I went to go see who was knocking on the door and it was the uh, the mailman bringing me a package that I'd ordered. So immediately I kind of felt bad. I was went from being mad to excited uh, about this package that came in. I wasn't expecting it. I have to give props to uh, the postal service. Usually I'm complaining uh, about slow service or misdirected packages and all that stuff. But this time I actually have to give them uh, credit. I guess with the holiday season coming up, they are working overtime uh, really on the ball. This was shipped out, I think, a day or two ago from California, and I'm in Tennessee, and it's already here. I hadn't checked the tracking on it because I knew it was going to be a few days, and I was surprised to see that it was here already. It was shipped uh, media mail also, and it still got here in a couple days from California. That's, uh, that's pretty wild. That never happens. What I got for you guys is a 15-CD black slash death metal grab. I guess you could call it a grab bag. I actually ordered this on eBay. Sorry, I had a pop-up come up. I'm just going to look at the uh, the description and kind of read it off for you guys. This is from Chicago Overstock uh, on eBay. It says, 15 used black slash death metal CDs lot, Necromancia, Obituary, Horrified, Cannibal Corpse. That's just the title of the actual listing. Looks like this. I don't know if you can make that out. Um, it was $22.99 and free shipping. So I figured for 15 CDs, that could possibly be full links from those bands that you couldn't beat that deal. So I had to jump on it. It doesn't give you a listing of the CDs that's actually in this box. Uh, the item description just says it's a lot of 15 used, great working condition, black slash death metal CDs. There will be no duplicates in this lot and you will receive 15 different titles, all full link CDs. Uh, it says because it's a closeout product, they can't give a list of the actual titles, but it says to guarantee to include bands mentioned in the listing, in, in the title listing, so that's the obituary, ne necromancia, all those that were listed. So I figured I would take a gamble. I mean, it said it was all full-length CDs. The only worry that I have with something like this is that it's going to be like uh, compilations of that type deal, and it'll all just be crappy compilation CDs that just happen to uh, contain some of those bands, and that they just kind of worded it weird or something. So that kind of has me worried, but... You never know if you don't try, so I figured I would jump on this. I guarantee there's probably going to be quite a bit in this that I already own just because my collection is so big. I know you guys see the two shelves behind me but when I'm doing these videos, but you don't see the other shelves that line the room in here, and, and they're all full. So, I mean, with a, with a collection that big, I have almost 4,000, I would say. I think I've got uh, well over 3,000 um, booked on my discog so all together when you do these grab bags and mystery lots and that type deal you're going to probably run into stuff duplicates that you already own that's not a big problem i never really have a problem finding a new home for something if i already own it so not too worried about that they packaged it up pretty tight i don't hear anything loose or rattling around in this so that's always a plus i don't want any busted jewel cases or broken cds Especially when you're buying something that's a, a lot of used items, there's always that worry that, that some of it is going to be broken or, you know, that type deal. Looks like they've got it packed in pretty tight with uh, brown packing paper. I'm just going to kind of dump them out on the desk here without making too much of a mess, hopefully. And we'll just get right into it. And judging from just a first glance, it doesn't look like I've received a bunch of compilations, so that's a plus. There's quite a bit of this brown packing paper, excuse me. I'm going to try to find somewhere to... Okay. Let's just get into this. Four minutes in and I'm still rambling, and I know that y'all didn't come here just to hear me ramble, so... First CD is a band that I'm not familiar with, which isn't always a bad thing because I don't already own this. So that's all, you know, it was released in 2004 on Black Lotus Records. This is Altered Aeon with um, Dispiritism. So I'm assuming this is either black or death metal just because that's what the uh, title advertised. With it being an overstock, I'm sure... Uh, 
company. I, my guess is they aren't super keen on uh, genres and that type deal. So I bet there's going to be some stuff in here that isn't black and death metal, but that's pretty much a, a blanket um, thing to put on a, a mystery box, just especially because uh, so many people associate stuff with death metal that isn't death metal. So it's just kind of a blanket a title for that listing. Gonna look at the actual disc. The disc actually looks perfect. It looks like this was never even listened to, but even though it was listed as used, so that's always a good sign as well. So the first one up was Altered Aeon. Uh, next up, we have one that I do already own. Um, it feels like it's out of the plastic, but it still has the the security thing across the top. So I, I'm assuming that the plastic just got cut on this, and they listed it as a uh, used CD. As I said, this is one that I already own. This is a Rumpel Stilt Skin Grinder with Ghost Maker. Not a bad album. This is one that I see pop up in uh, mystery boxes and grab bags all the time. So there just must be a ton of copies of this album floating around out there. This was released on Candlelight Records. Uh, I'm not sure the date on it. I don't even see one on the back. 2012. I know I've been out for a little bit. This is one that I just see so many copies floating around everywhere. Which is a bit unfortunate because it's not really a bad album. Uh, next up, we have some Cannibal Corpse. Uh, this is actually the censored version of Bloodthirst. I own Bloodthirst, but I do do not own this uh, particular copy, so I will probably keep this in my uh, in my collection. The music itself is not censored, just the artwork. So for some of you that might have been worried about that, because it would be kind of weird to you can't understand the. Most people can't understand death metal vocals enough to censor out stuff that they need to censor out, but it is just the censored version of the artwork. So it's kind of neat to have that in the collection now, being that uh, I didn't own that that particular version of this release. Being collector scum, I will probably just hang on to that. Next up, we have a uh, Hortus Anime with a uh, waltzing. Mephisto. I actually own this already, and uh, it's not that bad of an album. I do enjoy this quite a bit. There's some other Hortus anime that I enjoy a little bit better, but this album is pretty enjoyable. This is one I'm a bit surprised to find this in this uh, mystery box. This was released in 2000, 2003 on Black Lotus Records, and uh, it kind of has some uh, melodic black metal, symphonic black metal vibes going on in this. This one, uh, the teeth are a little bit busted on the jewel case. The disc itself looks fine, but dump some of those teeth out there's the inside then there's the actual disc so not not sure what I'm gonna do with uh, the duplicates that I get in this now uh, now we do have a uh, compilation this is a uh, metal blade records presents uncorrupted steel 2 I do not own this compilation um, Cannibal Corpse is on here. Brainstorm. Vader is on here. Uh, cattle Decapitation, Six Feet Under. So not bad. I may just leave this in my truck. I don't like to... I like uh, listening to compilations and stuff in the truck because I don't get too upset if they get scratched or anything bad happens to the to those. So that's probably the fate that that uh, CD there will, will, will adhere to. Uh, next up, we have Celtic Frost Tribute, Order of the Tyrants. So this is another kind of compilation CD. This one is actually a tribute, though, for Celtic Frost. Uh, some of the bands listed on this. Uh, Necrophagia is on here. That's pretty, that's different. Um, Ragnarok, that, that's interesting. Demu Borgir is on here doing a track. This was actually released in 2003, so... I will definitely give this a little bit of a spin. I'm interested... interested to see uh, what some of these other bands take on some Celtic Frost music may turn out to be. So that one's pretty neat. I guess if I'm going to get a tribute CD, uh, Celtic Frost is, is not a bad one to get. Uh, next up, we have one that I do already own. This is uh, Borknagar with Origin. This is actually a pretty solid CD, though. So if you don't already own this and you're potentially looking at uh, picking up this mystery box... This is one that I would be happy to get if I didn't already own it. This was released, obviously, on uh, Century Media. Bortnagar has been with Century Media and Nuclear or Nuclear Blast for quite a long time. Uh, this was released in 2006, so a lot of these have uh, some older stuff. Uh, next up, we have Necromantia. So this is one of the uh, 
the bands listed in the actual title of the listing. This is Ancient Pride. I love the artwork on this album. I didn't already have this, so I'm stoked to have this in the collection now. This was released in 2005 on uh, Black Lotus. Quite a bit of Black Lotus releases in this uh, mystery box. I will probably end up giving this one a listen today, probably as soon as this video is done recording. Next up is one that I haven't heard, but I have seen this album listed so many times doing searches on eBay and looking for uh, albums and that type deal. And I, I see it all the time, and I almost pull the trigger just based on the artwork. But I see so many copies of this, so many copies of this available for such a low price, it always scares me away, and I haven't, haven't even listened to it yet. This is a Thou Art Lord with Orgia Demonicum. Demonicum. So it definitely has a uh, black metal vibe going on with this. I guess now I can see finally what this actually is all about. Because that album looks super familiar, but I don't know anything about it. Uh, next up we have Elwing with War. Another one that I'm not familiar with. This was also released on uh, Black Lotus Records in 2005. Sorry if I just started lagging. I had some pop-ups come up. I'm going to try to knock them out. I have per recently purchased a new laptop, but I haven't got it going yet, if that makes any sense. I haven't got it updated. I still don't have an internet service provider here out in the boonies. So I haven't been able to get the uh, new laptop going because I haven't been able to do the app, the updates and all that type of stuff on that on it. Uh, as I said, Elwing War. I'm not familiar with this at all, so that's another new one for me. Next up, we have a Metal Blade. I know this one was in some uh, some of those Metal Blade overstocks that were going out there for a while. This is an Apiary with Lost in Focus. This is actually one that I did not own, despite uh, getting a couple of those. Big, pretty big uh, metal blade closeout lots a couple of years ago. So this is one I'm not just super familiar with. I've seen it, but I don't know that much about it. So going to be some new stuff definitely in this for me to listen to. I, I've been pretty impressed so far. I still got one, two, three, five CDs left to go out of this box. So I figure for the uh, $22.99 price tag that this uh, had with it, it, it was well worth it to me. Some of you may feel differently, but that's, you know, each to their own. Uh, next up, we have The Breathing Process with Odyssey Undead. I already own this one. This is another one that I see going around uh, for a, a very small price tag all the time. It's actually a pretty good album. Leans more towards deathcore as opposed to death metal. Has a little bit of a blackened deathcore vibe going on at times. Not a bad album at all. Don't let the... Uh, the Deathcore tag scare you away from it because it is a pretty solid release. Next up, we have uh, Sin of Flesh with Roaring Depths of Insanity, another Black Lotus release. Uh, this is one that I'm not super familiar with, but definitely looking forward to giving this one a listen because just the artwork and the whole vibe that I'm getting from the CD looks pretty interesting. I'm just going to pick another random one to actually look at the disc. Because it says they're used, but I don't. it doesn't appear to me that uh, these have ever been listened to. Because they're all, the, the discs are all perfect on this. So, I'm very pleasantly surprised with this, uh, with this grab bag. Next up we have Diecast. This is a band that I haven't thought about in ages. This was released in 2007 on Century Media. This is a Day of Reckoning, and I believe it has a demo attached with it uh, entitled undo the wicked the uh security thing across the top is still sealed so i'm not going to open it up it may be a two disc set it feels kind of heavy diecast man i haven't thought about them in ages i remember liking them for what they were but that was several several i mean a decade ago when uh when i had you know they were in rotation uh popular rotation i guess and I remember hearing some of their stuff through uh, either satellite radios, internet radios at the time while I was still in college. And I do remember enjoying hearing what I heard then, but I haven't followed them since or kept up with them. So uh, that will be a good, uh, I guess, nostalgia listen and, and uh, a remembering listen there. Uh, next up, we have Hemsa with Summon, Summon in Thunder. Sorry, I can't read today. This is another one that I don't own. I do own a... a, a 
a couple of albums from him, so I believe it, but I do not own this one. This one was released in 2007 on uh, Century Media. The majority of this stuff is at least a decade old, uh, and that's fine with me because I, I enjoy some older stuff. I enjoy revisiting some of this stuff that I haven't listened to in, or even thought about in ages. This is a two-disc set. There's the, the first. And it looks like it has a uh, Century Media kind of compilation going on there. They used to do that quite often back in the day. Has Winds of Plague on there. It looks like a ton. This is uh, 2007. That whole uh, Deathcore phase was going, MySpace Deathcore was going on super strong. Uh, yeah, Suicide Silence, Winds of Plague, Divine Heresy, Arsonists Get All the Girls. That's the kind of the popular vibe. Deathcore was in its uh, heyday then. So I don't know. I don't imagine I'll be spending that uh, compilation CD anytime soon. Next up is the, the last CD that was in this grab bag. I already own this, but I did not have the slipcase for it. So I'm kind of glad this one was in here. So now I have a, a mint copy with the slipcase. This is Obituary with Executioner's Return. And the slipcase is still perfect on this. This was released on Candlelight. Seemed like the majority of this stuff uh, fell under Candlelight, Metal Blade, Century Media, or a Black Lotus. I think all of the CDs were in that, so they must have got their hands on some a lot of overstock from those labels. There's the actual inside artwork and stuff. There's the back, almost identical. Well, not almost identical. There's the inside. I'm getting tired. My tongue's getting tired. My mouth's getting dry. So, yeah, definitely glad to have a mint copy of Obituary Executioner's Return. All in all, I think this was a pretty good haul. I mean, 15 CDs, 22 bucks. You cannot beat that. It was a pretty, pretty decent quality CDs for that price range, too. I will link up in the description the link to this um, this eBay listing if you want to grab one. They still have several. It says they still have more than 10 of these lots available. If you're into some of this stuff, definitely jump on it. If you're trying to build up your collection and add some stuff to your collection that, that you may be missing out. I, I was surprised to find the uh, the Cannibal Corpse Censored version. I didn't own that already. There was some stuff in there that kind of uh, caught me off guard with some, how good of a quality it was. So definitely glad to have them in the collection now. As I said, they'll be linked up in the description. Once again, I just want to say thank you guys for all the likes and all the subscribes and that stuff. I know... You hear people on YouTube uh, say that all the time, but it really, really helps the reach and stuff. If you just hit that like button, even if you hit the dislike button and you didn't like that, just that interaction that helps get my videos out there, and I do appreciate it very, very much. Thank you guys for all you do. I will see you very, very soon. I may end up doing a giveaway or something with these uh, extra CDs that I got that I already own in this. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it at this point, but we still got time to think about that. It may be some type of Christmas giveaway or something coming up. That's all I've got for today. Stay classy, stay metal. Check the description and pick yourself up one of these uh, mystery boxes if, if, you, if you feel so inclined. I'm sure you'll get almost identical to what I got. So stay classy, stay metal. I'll see y'all soon, I promise.